others which need no repentance. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she loses one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God for one sinner that repented. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before you are seated, let's pray one more time that God would have His way. And with this message and the remainder of this service. Lord Jesus, put me aside, Lord, that your word go forth. God, there is a need for the truth to be preached in this generation. God, I ask you to let your word go forth with authority, with boldness. Lord, with, that would pierce the heart, O oh God. God, that would, that would bring revelation, O oh God, to the heart and the mind of your people. God, anoint me tonight as I speak your word. Lord, put me aside and let anything in me hinder what you have to do tonight. God, let your word go forth. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. You can be seated, but don't stay there. It'll get awful lonely up here if you do. I want to, my title of my message is a simple one, which all of you are used to simple titles and simple messages from me. The Finder of lost things. The finder of lost things. It's amazing that in our lives that the people are always looking for something that they lost. And and I'm sure some of you can already think of something that hit your mind just now that you had lost. Lost your money. Um, usually that's found by whoever does the laundry. You lost your keys. That's usually in a pocket. For me, it's in a pair of pants that I took off and I just forgot and left them in there. But when you need to drive somewhere, you're going to find those keys. How about a lost cell phone? Anybody lost a cell phone? I don't ever lose the cell phone. I lose the cell phone charger. That usually goes with one of my kids. How many of you ladies have lost chapstick? In my house, there's always somebody looking for chapstick. Now here's, now here's a good one. How many... Go to get a pair of socks and can't find a match. I, I, I am convinced that the dryer eats those things. Because as soon as you've got a nice pair of socks that you like and you do laundry, doesn't even matter if that's the only pair of socks in the laundry, it's going to be missing one sock. How many have ever lost headphones? I cannot tell you how many sets of headphones I have purchased for my household. Every time we go on a trip, for some reason, there is seven sets of headphones have to be purchased. <laughs> now, here's a scary one. How many have ever lost a credit card? All right. Yeah. All right. Nobody wants to admit that. Everybody's looking at each other. All right. For those parents in the house, how many have ever lost a child? <laughs> I know of one particular child that got left sleeping under the pew and everybody went home. That one would be Jared Staten. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am guilty of leaving my child in the car asleep, not realizing that he was in the car. And he stayed at the front door until we woke up. I know, isn't that a horrible thing? But I didn't even know I had lost him until I found him. Wow. But all of these things that we lose, we can think of so many, the list is very long. All these things seem so important when you can't find them. Right, right. You, you, when you have them and you know where they're at, then you can dismiss them and you don't even think about it. But let you lose them and you will find, search high and low to find what you right. have lost. Right. All of these things are, 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 are material things that we seem so wrapped around that we don't want to lose track of. Right. But what about a lost soul? Right. What about your soul? Right. What about that thing that has has it's invaluable? It has you can't put a price tag on a soul. It's an inherent in the nature of each and every one of us to to that we are seeking God. We seek after God, even when we don't realize it. Something inside of us is by trying to find God. Sometimes we don't even realize what it is, but there's a there's a there's a yearning in our heart. To 
show an emptiness inside. We want the joy and the peace. We want to be, to be able to walk through this life and be able to do it effectively. But there's something inside of us that we cannot be complete until we find Jesus. Some of you may be here tonight and something is missing in your life. There is something that you just can't put your finger on, but you just don't feel that everything in your life is complete. Well, I am here tonight to tell you, I have the missing piece of what you're looking for. And you see, there is a secret that is still going about everywhere all over this world tonight, seeking someone that is a lost soul. I remember as a child playing hide-and-go-seek. Anybody ever play hide and go seek? See, we had a field across the street. They were building houses. And, and, man, we would go out there and play hide and go seek in that field. They were having to be putting in all of the water and the pipes and, and they were building a couple of homes. Man, there were some really cool hiding places out there. But there was something about finding that good hiding place. You looked high and low to find that one place that you wouldn't be found. Yes. But something happened when you hid too well. And all of a sudden, nobody came and found you. And you began to get a little nervous because you're the only one out in the field. I don't know about you, but that's, I, I, I'd be in a pipe somewhere getting a little bit scared because nobody was coming looking for me. But there's something about that hide and seek thing. Someone has declared it. And you go and they begin to count. One, two, three. Four. And they keep counting and you listen to them counting and you got to go hide just in time because when they say ready or not here I come you know you found a hiding place some of us tonight have found that hiding place within ourselves we found it in in other things that this world has tried to give us as a hiding place those things that you try to mask that longing in your soul that you're trying to feel and you got that place that God is reaching for you, but you got that hiding place that you think that you found so well. But in reality, you can't hide from God. You cannot hide from the seeker of your soul. You can do your best, but you're still, He's going to find you. See, the goal about finding the best hiding place is nobody, absolutely nobody could find you. But see, there was something I was good at. I was a little kid. I've always been short and I've always been skinny until now. I was skinny once. But I could find these little places to hide. See, I think Elijah would be the best hider that we have in the building. I could put that kid up in a closet on a shelf and nobody would find him. But see, the reality was that even though I was the best at finding the hiding place, I would begin to get a little worried and eventually I would come out of my hiding place and find that person that was seeking and I would say, come and get me. Because I really wanted to be found. I did not want to stay in that little pipe until it got dark and nobody came looking for me. Why? Because I didn't want to be alone. For all of my cleverness in choosing that perfect to keep me hidden from the one that was seeking me I still wanted to be found there is something in each and every one of us that wants God to find us hallelujah but when you find something valuable that is lost just like that shepherd and the woman that we just read about it you, when you find that valuable thing that is lost it is something that you sell 